In this video we're checking out the Yixin TX806 uh, video transmitter here and it's kind of a unusual shape here. It looks like a shape of a leaf and the reason they have it like this is so that you can put this on your flight stack diagonally. So just using this as an example here you can see if we put this on top of this uh, 30 by 30 stack like this and it's diagonal and you have your MMCX connector going out the back like that. I think they did it like this so that just to keep it a little bit uh, lower profile and a little bit less weight um, because you don't need all that extra stuff you know, on a full 30 by 30 board so they just want to shave a little bit of weight off. Yeah, so overall it's a pretty basic video transmitter. You have a button here for operating your uh, bands, channels, and power but this also has smart audio or VTX remote control. You can change everything uh, via that. Uh, you just have one set of uh, one wire harness here and the outputs for the wire harness are labeled here on these instructions. So you have uh, 7 to 25 volts in, ground, video ground, 5 volts for the camera, and then smart audio. Uh, in addition, you also get a couple of these adapters. You get an MMCX right angled adapter to, looks like this one here is SMA. And then you have MMCX, and this is just a uh, standard dipole whip antenna. So those are both available to you. And then just taking a look at the video transmitter itself, you have a little microphone over here. You got a little LED. Um, and on this side here, it's just the uh, RF shield. It does show you the power levels here. So there's five power levels, 25, 200, 400, 800, and 1,000 milliwatts now. Um, I've heard that, I think in smart audio in the OSD, you can only change between the first four. And if you want to use the one watt level, then you have to actually do it via the um, button presses and not use smart audio. So if you're using smart audio, I believe the highest power level available to you is going to be the 800 milliwatts. And then here in the uh, documentation, it does have instructions on how to use the button to change your uh, channels and band and power. And then this is the frequency chart and has a bunch of extra bands here that not a lot of the not a lot of other video transmitters tip typically use usually just A, B, E, F, and R. These are some of these extra ones here, so you might want to see if those are even legal in your country to use. But those are available if you want to use them. Okay, so I got the uh, video transmitter connected to the uh, Emergen RC RF power meter, and we're measuring um, uh, Fetch Arc 4, which is 5800 megahertz exactly, at 25 milliwatts, and it is outputting about 20 milliwatts. Okay, so at 200 milliwatts, it's outputting about 158 milliwatts. And at 400 milliwatts, it's outputting about 380 some milliwatts. Okay, so we're at the fourth power level here, and now we're at 800 milliwatts. And it's reading about 600 and... Uh, 615 to 620 milliwatts. And now we're... <laughs> Blasting away at one watt or a thousand milliwatts, and it's reading 860 odd milliwatts. So this is uh, going to get pretty hot here real quick. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video transmitter. I'll go ahead and show you some flight footage from this. It works totally fine. I didn't really do any super long range flying because I don't really do that. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to see if the one watt setting will take you miles and miles away, uh, this uh, video uh, flight demo won't show you that. But it seems to work fine in uh, most of the typical places I fly it. So here's a little flight demo how this works, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.